Hey everyone, today's recipe I'm making some healthy chocolate cupcakes. Now this recipe has no refined sugar and I'm not using any type of flour at all. Now it does have a secret ingredient, I'll call it, that I've never used before in any type of cake recipe. So it's pretty interesting. This recipe is nice and moist and chocolatey and it has not too much sweetness to it. It's just the right amount, I think. And I got this recipe from my neighbor whose daughter and boyfriend gave to me and I want to give a little shout out to them. Haley and Justin, thank you so much for sharing this. I really love this recipe and I think that all of you are going to enjoy it as well. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to make it right after this. Chef joke time. What do you call an island entirely populated by cupcakes? Deserted. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my ingredients. Here we go, and we're gonna start off with that secret ingredient that I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video. All right, it is tahini. Now, tahini is ground up sesame seeds. We'll need some ripe bananas, nice and ripe. Some cocoa powder, that's Milo barking over there. Some almond milk, some honey, a couple of eggs, baking powder, baking soda, and some salt. So I'm gonna start with my bananas. We're gonna put these in a bowl here. Remember, you want them to be nice and ripe, brown spots all over the place. That makes the banana sweeter. And I'm gonna take a masher and we're just gonna mash this up. And you want it to look, you know, like this, nice and mashed up, no big chunks. Next, we'll add our tahini. honey so we're just essentially putting all of our wet ingredients in the bowl some almond milk and the eggs which I cracked in a bowl already just to make sure I didn't get any shells in it and I'm just you know whisking it a bit just to help it blend in a little easier Then you just want to stir all this and make sure everything's well combined. So actually mixing this with the masher actually worked really well in terms of blending things together. Okay, so now we're ready to add the rest of the stuff. Here goes our cocoa powder. I'm going to sprinkle that in. Try to eliminate lumps. And here's the baking powder and the baking soda and a pinch of salt. Now I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. So this is a super easy recipe. I love how it just, everything goes into the bowl. It's very quick. And we'll be popping it in the oven momentarily. All right, now we're ready to fill our little cupcake holders. So I'm using these silicone ones that I like, but you can use paper ones, they work fine too. And I've got 12 here, and so I'm gonna take a, like a small ladle and we're gonna just start placing our batter into that without trying not to make too much of a mess. We'll see how we do. All right, so I've topped off the cups here, the cupcake holders, to about, well, a good three quarters full. And I think I'll clean up a little bit of the spills that I made so they don't just stand there and burn when it's cooking. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Now you want to, you're better off undercooking these as opposed to overdoing it because then they'll dry out. So we're gonna test them. Uh, in 12 minutes. All right, so here they are after uh, 12 minutes. Now, 
We're not supposed to cook them, you know, until they're really set, but I'm gonna stick a toothpick in there and see what we've got. It's still pretty wet. And we're gonna go to 15 minutes is what we're gonna do. So here they are just out of the oven. I left them in for 16 minutes. So we'll see how these turn out. You can see that they're a little bit like, you know, the skin and the top is kind of cracked like. So I think we'll, they're, and they're starting to sink down. So that's a good sign. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they are when they're nice and cool. Cupcakes are done. I had left them in for 16 minutes because it was just a little too wet, in my opinion, on the little toothpick. So, but you still, if it's, if it comes out wet still, I think it's okay because otherwise they're gonna dry out. So let's do the big reveal here. Let's take one of these and uh, they're still pretty warm, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm gonna just take it out of this little silicone cup here and show you what it looks like on the inside. Now check this out. Look at this, nice and cake-like, right? It's amazing to me how it does that with no flour. Anyway, let's give it a taste test. First thing I notice, it's nice and chocolatey. It's moist. It's a lighter cake-like texture. So it kind of reminds me of devil's food cake. You know, it's light. It's very light. And I think it would be great with some whipping cream or coconut cream on top. Even a little bit of chocolate, you know, frosting if you want to do that. But just like this, they're moist. It, it just satisfies your chocolate craving. So if you'd like to try some more chocolate recipes, I've got one for you that I think you should try. It's how to make chocolate pudding. Very basic, right? I'm gonna leave a link for you right over here. Click that, go make that, and tell me what you think, because this is just delicious. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and a thumbs up. That always helps the algorithm. So just give it a smash, make it turn blue, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.